Check, 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 check. Check one, check two, check three. We shall begin shortly. How do I change my scenes? Where's my... Ah, where's my room? Ah yes, my bitrate is looking fine tonight. Fine this evening, I might say. And welcome! My name is Main Bolta! Your friendly neighborhood space dwarf! The main spaceman with the plan! Back at it again! With some Nickelodeon All Star Brawl! Would you like to see your favorite characters beat the ever-loving shit out of each other? For cash and prizes! The correct answer is yes. I don't know if my voice sounds weird, but I think I have some kind of effect going on on it.
Where, where is my... I'm all, I'm all discombobulated with my damn windows. All right. All right, we're looking like this is actually moving pretty fast. Excellent. Please allow me to figure this out. Yes, the strength is excellent. All right. So here we go. Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl. Oh, I don't know about you, but I like a lot of these Nickelodeon characters. So what should we do first? Well, first off, As of you need a close up. Ooh, I'm a scary. I'm a scary little pumpkin. Ooh, it's kind of creepy looking. I'm a scary pumpkin. The, the whole pumpkin mask is, looks a lot cuter when Fawn does it. I'm a scary pumpkin man. Woo! Where is Mozart? He's hiding behind the pumpkin. He's hiding in the pumpkin patch. All the children are looking for him. He has all the candy. He ran away with all the candy. He ran away with all the candy. All the children don't have any candy now. <laughs> the children have no candy now. <laughs> Kidding. Hello? Woo. You no know, can see. Now. I look too scary with my with the pumpkin on. All right, I'm back. All right, here we go. All right, let's lower this a little bit. All right. Did I stay behind this mask the whole time? Alright. Without further ado. We ride into battle. Alright, so. Now, I have played this for a little while. And the character I used SpongeBob. was SpongeBob. 
And might I say? He's quite the ass-kicking little fella. And I'm going to fight. Reptar! I know. Some of these levels absolutely suck. Get ready! Three, two, one! Dance! Alright, one massive difference between this and Smash is how fast this game is. Ah, uh, how I could spam this stupid bubble. Everybody re- Every Oh! Oh! No! no! Well, another thing is when you first- when you first spawn in, you don't have any kind of immunity. That's terrible. I'm doing terrible already. Hold on. I'm gonna use my imagination. How the hell did I just let Reptar beat me? That was terrible. No, no, no. We're not doing this again. I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready that time. No, I don't want to fight Reptar again. Come on, Reptar. Come on! There we go. Now, some characters, you could just spam this bubble, and they just can't come back. They just can't recover from it. From it. Oh! Kick Reptar right in his ass. There we go. There we go. I played this game last night until I beat it on hard. It took me like like five tries because I started to like fall asleep while I was playing it. It's definitely faster than Smash. And I think overall there's a lot more moves that you could do. I think, I'm not really sure. I've only done, I've only played like maybe like maybe like 400 matches in Smash. I have it on my Switch so I could I play it on my lunch break, I could play while in the morning before I go to work. Yeah. No! Overall, it's a pretty cool it's a pretty cool game. The, the mechanics are solid in this game. Like, even if the game seems like unfinished, if it was just polished up a little bit. And they start adding like, like weapons and like different items and more characters and just polish the menus a little bit. This is this is a, a solid game. I'm still learning these uh, these characters. So far, I'm really digging SpongeBob. He's he's pretty good all around.
Oh, I'm a scary pumpkin man tonight. I saw uh, there was another another uh, streamer that I follow. I was watching I was watching the stream earlier, and he had a pumpkin mask on, and they they looked really it was really cute, and I tried it, and it's not so cute when I try it. I was hiding from all the children. Thank you, thank you. I was hiding from all the children. I stole all their candy. And they were trying to, they were chasing me with, with pitchforks and torches to try to get their candy back. I don't know what I did to this window, but I messed it all up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Actually, uh, they were these Kit, these like, I think they're like marshmallow, like, like white chocolate Kit Kats that I eat like a sociopath. That's why I've been hiding in this pumpkin. The, the kids can't find me. Yeah, it's, it's really good. I stole the candy from the children. Now I must hide inside this pumpkin. <laughs> I was like, oh, would it, be, would it be cool if I put on a pumpkin mask or I hid inside a pumpkin? And I wound up looking terrifying instead of cute. Does that make a scary jack-o'-lantern? All right, let me fix this stupid thing. Now you can see me. You can see me now. All right, hey, what, what's going on, everybody? It's me, Main Mozart. I'm back, 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 like a booty crack, crack, crack. And I have a question to pose to the studio audience tonight. Yes, yes, I'm, I'm back, 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 and I'm back, I'm back like a vertebrae. All righty. Well, I have a question, a question to pose to you. Does my voice have a weird effect on it? Because in my headphones, it definitely sounds like it does. All right, cool. In my headphones, it has like a weird, like a, uh, it's like a, maybe like a chorus or like a delay effect on it. I don't know why. Okay, can I hear it now? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, that's only on my end then. Awesome. All right. Without further ado. It's time for these Nickelodeon All-Stars to beat some wild ass. We gonna beat some wild ass. I already fought Reptar. I don't want to fight Reptar again. No. Reptar, leave me alone. Perfect. Look at that. Told you I didn't want to fight him again. Stupid Reptar. Sure, he's a dinosaur, but I love him. That was from Rugrats. Reptar, the Reptar on Ice, I believe, was the name of the movie. Yeah, 
I'm gonna beat Reptar's ass with my imagination. With my imagination. <laughs> oh, what a hit. There's only one show of, of like all the characters in this game. There's only one show that I don't, I, I'm not familiar with. And I think it's, uh, was it the, the Loud House? Is that what it is? That's the only show I'm not familiar with so far with these uh, characters. Come on, Reptar. Reptar, Reptar. I'm a beat up Reptar. Yeah, that's I, I I wasn't familiar with that those, those characters. I was like, I looked at it, I was like, who the hell is this? It's cool they have. Uh, what the hell is the problem here? Check check. Yeah okay. There we go. I was hearing an echo. I had like a delay or some other weird like effect on my voice. I don't know why this effect panel is open. I just crack off. Yeah, I wasn't. I didn't know who that who that uh, who that was. I'm gonna get out of this and go to arcade mode. And let's see. There we go. So I guess these are characters from. It's, it's a Loud House, right? That's the name of the show? Loud House. Okay. This is... What's his name? Lincoln Loud? And this one is... Somebody else? That's another one? So, I've beaten this game all the way up to hard. It took me several tries. It doesn't, yeah, it doesn't it, see what I'm saying? Like this game, the mechanics in this game are really good. As far as a fighting game goes, they're really good. Um, but the menu, like you can see, it looks like it's kind of unfinished. It's like kind of plain, there's not really much going on. But, Lucy Loud, that's, that's the name. I'll do. I can't remember what her name was. I remember reading it and then I forgot what it was. Um, yeah, like the menu looks like it's not really finished. And uh, aside from like aesthetics, like this is a pretty solid game. I like Invaders in. Alright, so. Who should I be? I I've been doing pretty good with, with SpongeBob. Put this on very easy, and I'm going to absolutely... I am absolutely going to whomp the ass of all of these characters. SpongeBob. I'm ready. I'm not just ready. I'm ready Freddy. Yeah, maybe I'll check out the Loud House. I, I, I like, I really like, I like cartoons. So, so far, yes. Uh, SpongeBob has been pretty good all around. This level sucks. There's two levels that are really terrible to fight on. This is one of them. Um, so far, SpongeBob seems to be the best. As far as my, my 
play style is concerned. And one thing this game doesn't have that Smash does have is like items. Like there's all like weapons and like Pokemon that you can get in Smash. This game doesn't have any of that yet, but I'm pretty sure it will at some point. Oh, uh, actually, the music in this game is surprisingly good. Like, this music right now is not real. Oh, no! Don't fall! SpongeBob, you get your ass back up on that platform! I was really surprised by the music in this game. Yeah, the soundtrack is actually pretty good. Uh, I'm going to fight. I'm going to fight. Do you know, do you know who, uh, you know Cat Dog or no? I can't remember when Cat Dog came out. I know it's, it's, a, it's older. Okay, you do know Cat Dog. Okay, cool. How about, uh, how about, uh, Ren, uh, Ren and Stimpy? That's going way back. Nothing about Ren and Stimpy. Oh. Oh, go look up some YouTube videos. Oh, that was a, that was quite a show. I think the uh, the creator wound up being I forgot what it was like some kind of like some kind of weird. Uh, he's like a some kind of sexual predator or something like something came out about him that he was like you know he's a real like he's a real a real shitbag. But uh, the show is absolutely it's, the show is insane. Just, if you look it up on YouTube, like, some clips on, like, best of, like, Ren and Stimpy. This show, like, there was so many, like, parental, like, watch groups and stuff that were up in arms about this show. And it paved the way for a lot of, uh, more adult, like, adult humor. Yeah, it's, I can't believe it was ever on, on Nickelodeon. Yeah, it's, it was such a weird show. Ren is the the dog, and Stimpy is the cat. And the show is the show is just really strange. We're gonna party till we're purple. I really, I'm, I really like SpongeBob. I can't tell you how many times I've seen the original SpongeBob movie, like the first one, before they went to like, uh, like 2D and 3D, like 2.5D and 3D animation. Come on, come on! Yeah, Sandy! I'm gonna spam my bubbles. Oh, these bu bubbles are brutal. If you if you catch somebody, like they fall off the side of this thing and you keep hitting them with it, most of the characters can't can't recover from it. Look at this. I'm a bubble my bubble blowing double baby. Yeah, it's re it's it's absolutely OP. I don't know if that's something that they're gonna fix at some point, but it's it's there's you can't you can't recover. Especially Ren and Stimpy, the way they they try to bounce back onto the platform, it's just the timing. They get caught with a bubble every time. Danny Phantom is a good girl too. I like that. They're on the Flying Dutchman ship. Let's see if I can knock them off the side. 
and uh, hit him with the, the bubbles. I don't know what you're... Oh, no! No, 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 no! We're on baby mode. This shouldn't be happening. Wait, did I put it on baby mode? I think I did. I like the different attack animations. Like, look at this. Like, he's sweeping up the floor. I'm trying to knock him off the side of the... Come on! Well, I didn't mean to... I didn't mean to kill him! I'm sorry, man. It was just a goof! It's Peter Sim! <laughs> versus Sim! You know Invader Zim? Get ready. Three, two, one, go. That was an, another, sh another show that had a very short life on uh, on uh, Nickelodeon. There's so many. It, having like Nickelodeon characters really opens up like it really opens up the door to like to add so many different different characters. A lot of the stuff that was on Nickelodeon went on to cartoons. Uh, they call Cartoon. Uh, <laughs> I was gonna say Cartoon Planet. What the hell's it called? Why well, can't I remember the name of the channel? Cartoon Network. <laughs> That's gotta hurt. Invader Zim was a little bit of, more of a like a darker, a darker show. Uh, it was a like merch-wise, it was huge at Hot Topic. Now, a few years ago, they, they had actually made a, uh, actually came out with a movie. It was Invader Zim, Enter the Florpus. And, uh, it was pretty good. It was, like, after the show had been, like, off the air for, for years, they, they came out with a movie. The first character I tried was Zim. And I absolutely, I got my, oh, I got my, my ass absolutely handed with it. With him, so uh, I switched it up to. Uh, I think I used uh, Leonardo from the Ninja Turtles, and then I went to SpongeBob. It's like they, they can make a huge roster to this game, just like just like Smash. And the actual like the mechanics of this game are a lot faster than Smash. Some of the, and some of the level design is really terrible. I didn't get to the the space one with the Ren and Snippy level, but it's it's terrible. Like you you can't even fight the other character. You're just fighting. You're like just trying the whole time to to not fall off the, the platforms as they move around. I said all the fight mechanics are there though. It's this this could be a really awesome game. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. No prob, no prob. Crunching Asmir.
I'm gonna see if I can load in this bag that I have. Now my pup my my pupil. Now my pumpkin looks like it has it has pupils. Oh, it has pupils now. Damn it. Ah. Oh, bother. I finished my bag of bones. Oh, that last one was stale. I felt like I was chewing on teeth. beverage. You, you know, orkin habits. They die hard. So, uh, while I, I drop the accent, sometimes I do eat bones. I won't eat teeth, though. So I, I work for a vending, a vending company, and uh, occasionally some of the candy that they put in the machines goes goes bad, and I'll I'll take it, and I will eat it, and it makes it, one of the guys that I work with hates the crunching noise that it makes, so I like chomp down on it. I said, "Oh man, it's just like sugar coated teeth." Eating a bag of teeth. Mmm. I love it. And he's disgusted by it and it upsets him every time. Oh! 
<laughs> I've said it before, but as a grown man, why as a grown man do I have to tell another grown man, do not tickle me? But this time his cousin got involved. His cousin was like, yeah, don't touch me. That's how. Like, like, just, you know, like, chomping down on it and like, like, oh. Ah. Like, oh, it tastes like teeth. And it's absolutely disgusting. All in the sake of comedy. Alright, so. We can fight. Uh, what the hell's this character? Top? Top? Tof, Tof from uh, Avatar, or we could fight Helga from Hey Arnold. You know what? I don't want to beat up on a blind person, so I'm going to beat up on a bully instead. Although I do like the, the giant trash pile that we'd be fighting in on this level. Hey Arnold's a great show. It really is. I don't know. Do I... I don't know. Alright. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it up to you. I'll put it up to you. Where shall we do this battle and with who shall we battle with? Yeah, yeah. Will it be Helga in Bikini Bottom or Toph in a giant garbage pile? What will it be, everyone? That's exactly, yep. That's exactly what I was thinking. Wait, I don't know if I was thinking out loud. Wait, did I think it out loud? I might have thought it out loud. I'm not really sure. Doesn't really matter. Helga's just misunderstood, man. She just doesn't know, she doesn't know how to express her feelings. She just doesn't know how to express her feelings to Arnold, that's all. I was just telling a story about how I got beat up in second grade for a bag of potato chips by two girls. Yeah, she definitely misunderstood. She's, she's a tragic character. In second grade, I got beat up by these by these two girls. They stole my they stole my uh, my snack from me. I had I had this big bag of potato chips, and uh, they, they were. There were two girls. One of them was very large, and one of them was much smaller. And their names were Tia and Atitia. I remember the larger one grabbed me from behind while the smaller one punched me in the stomach repeatedly and stole my chips. I think I think they like me. <laughs> I, th I think they, they secretly like me though. I think that's what it was. They didn't know how to express their, their they didn't, they didn't know how to ex express their, uh, their, uh, feelings. <laughs> either that or one, or either that or they were just, I don't know, they just really wanted those chips. Yeah, they, they <laughs> beat me up and took my chips. Get ready. It's always a fun story, because their names were Tia and a T Tia. One of them was very small, one of them was very large, and they weren't related. And I always think it's pretty funny. But yeah, I've, I've had, I've had, uh, I've had, uh, had people like, like Helga. You know. Remember this, this, I was in like fifth grade and this, this girl that used to like, used to like mess with me all the time and everything like, Yeah, she always used to mess with me, and I, I was like, I was kind of afraid of her, really. I was like, I was like, she, she, I was like, she's kind of big. I don't want to, I don't want to mess with her. She's gonna, she's gonna beat my ass. 
And then I, it turns out that, that she actually did like me. And she didn't know how to express her, you know, her feelings. It, exactly. She expressed them with her, with her, with her fists. And I, and you know, I understand. I understand. By the time I realized that she, she had a crush on me, like, I was like, I don't know what I was doing at that time. I was just like, just a super nerd. And I was like, oh, I don't know what to, I don't know what to say to her. I don't know what to, I don't know what to do. I don't, and then like, I, I, I guess I took too long. And then like, she started dating my friend and like the two of them dated for like forever. And, uh, that was pretty cool. But she, uh, yeah, she didn't know how to really express herself. So would be like, I've been walking down the hallway and she like slap me in the back of the head and, like do stuff like that We're like you know like trip me and stuff like Oh, absolutely. That's why, it, you know what? It's so complicated that I no longer do it. I just wanna, you know what? I've lived, I've lived long enough, and I've lived enough life to know that I don't really need to live that much life. I don't, you, okay, so this is uh, Lucy Loud. Yeah, when you're younger, it's just it's it's just a mess. It really is. All right, let's see. So, is this the the picture right here? Is this the Loud House? Just like there, this is like where they live. Okay. Now, is this music from the from the show? Okay, yeah, I, I kind of figured figured uh, that's what it was. Honestly, this, this music sounds like music they played on MTV back in, like, the mid-90s. That's gotta hurt. One thing about, uh, about this game that's different than Smash is that when you first spawn in, you have no, you have no like, invincibility at all. Like as soon as you spawn in, like you're fair game. And that's that. Look at that. Look at that. Ooh, what did I get? What did I get? I think that's a jukebox. I think that's you unlock uh, some of the music in the game. Some of these levels have really good music. See, that was it. That was it. I just, I just beat it. All right, so we're on to the next one. Easy mode. So I'm going to try. I've been doing pretty good with SpongeBob, but I'm going to switch it up. I think I'm going to be. But she has one move that I was getting hit with, and it, I absolutely couldn't do anything about it. Oh, Lena versus Ang. Uh, do you know where Do you know where Oblina's from? Get ready, three, two, one. Another very good older 
I think it, I don't know if it's early 90s or mid 90s. Uh, the show Ah Real Monsters. She is one of the three main characters, along with. There's another one that's like a short pink one. He's like short and fat, and he has two eyeballs in his hand. And the other one looks like a red, like a red bunny. And that is the, basically the main character. And they are young monsters attending a monster school. And they are learning how to scare humans. She has one move that's just, yeah, that right there. I absolutely couldn't, I couldn't defend against it at all. At all. Yeah, that. See if I could. There we go. Yeah, that's a brutal, brutal move. Pinnacle hit. It was a good show. I don't know if the I don't know if the DVDs are available of it. I would love to watch it again. I I was gonna say oh I I wasn't sure it was it was on Nickelodeon, but I, obviously it was on Nickelodeon. <laughs> That's what this game is. I remember my grandmother, my grandmother had uh, my grandmother had uh, Nickelodeon on her TV, uh, on her cable. So, I remember watching it the time when I, when I came over to the house. Which, coincidentally, is exactly where my computer is right now, is where that old TV was. It was an old wooden TV. It was like a big-ass piece of furniture. And the cable box, I remember the cable box wasn't even wireless. The, the remote control was like a, it was like a shoebox size like controller with like switches on it that would you plug into the TV. And that's that. And that's that. Yeah, I remember like Nickelodeon was channel like 22 or something, but like you had to like flip switches. And it had like wood paneling on it. It was so old. It had like a wood paneling on it. And like, it could only go like maybe like, maybe like eight feet from the TV. And the TV was so old that like you could feel like the heat radiating off of it from like 10 feet away. All right, so this, I'm gonna fight Powder Toast Man. This is another character from Ren and Stimpy. I like how he says play nice with like a question mark at the end of it. That spinning move that, that she just did when, uh, hold on, try to do it again. SpongeBob does the same thing, but when, but like, I'm trying to use it and I, I, I get, I get spanked every time I try to use it. You know, I think I'm gonna watch Real Monsters, uh, Real Monsters again. Now they, they had a bunch of like they had games on uh, Super Nintendo and uh, Sega Genesis. The one on Sega Genesis was really good. Look at that! Look at that! Yeah, it's good. Play nice with like a question mark at the end of it.
from uh, Real Monsters, Oblino was the he was the best student out of the. Uh, I think she might have been the best student out of the entire Monster Academy. He was definitely the scariest monster and the most serious one. Crumb was uh, he's like the pink one with the with, with the eyes in his hand. He was like he was kind of like a he's kind of like a he's kind of like the dummy of the group. Like he was he was like. He's terrible in, in Monster School, and was kind of uh, kind of the, the dim-witted one. And Ickis had the ability to be a great monster, but he was really like shy and really like timid. And I think his his parents were like were like famous like uh, famous monsters. So like they like you know it was expected that he he'd be like some like super scary monster but like he was he didn't really want to be. That's gotta hurt. Complete. Look at that! Look at that! Excellence, excellence. All right, let's do it. Versus Tom. Do I like the music from this level? I think I do. It sounds like an old, uh, Me it sounds like old, like Mega Man or, uh... Like, uh, Ghosts and Goblins. I don't know. I don't know if it's fr from a particular show. Ready, three, two, one. I like the spooky music. Oh, it's so spooky. Ah, ah, ah. Spooky, scary music. Spooky, scary skeletons. We'll whip you on your ass. Spooky scary skeletons are crawling from the grass. Oh. Ah, spooky. No! No! Oh. Oh, 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 that recovery. Beautiful it was. Actually, SpongeBob actually has very similar attacks. Like that right there, SpongeBob does something very similar. Look at that. Yeah, that recovery was completely, 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 you know, planned. Precision skill. All right, so this is another member of the loud family oh no that's the proud family <laughs> the, wait no they are the loud family it was a hundred percent planned 100 percent it was a hundred percent planned and like 10 percent luck all right so i already fought helga And it's gonna be Oblina versus uh, Lincoln Loud Ass over here. We're gonna be fighting in a giant garbage pile. You hear this music? Okay, so he's the main character. The other goth looking one is not the main character. Oh no, I don't know who this is. I don't know the. I don't, I don't get the reference. Ready? I don't know what happened. The, the music. Changed up a little Two, bit. One, go. No! You see that recovery right now? That's how I break my controllers. I realize that squeezing the trigger buttons doesn't make it doesn't make it do anything special other than break. Okay. So these are only this. Is, so there's there's one main character and a lot of supporting characters.
I'm digging the, mu the music in this. I gotta say, that's one thing this 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 game has over Smash Brothers is the music. So I'm, I, I guess uh, there's probably gonna be more characters from the show in this game, so I probably should watch the show. I think I'm going to check it out. I'd like to know a little bit about the, the characters in this game. I saw a ghost last night. It was a cryptic phantom. Excuse me. <laughs> Three, two, one. Oh, that's cool. It's crazy how how far how far shows have come. That was that was something unthinkable back, you know. Back like back in like the nineties and stuff like that it was, it was totally unheard of. Okay, now I know how to do that move. Oh! Yeah, we're not doing that. Yeah, it's, it's really cool. But yeah, really, because there's so many, there, you know. There's there's so many different, different, different people out there. And just to have just a small, small fraction of them represented in uh you know in, in a lot of things you know it's, it's kind of bullshit but it's cool to see like you know it's, it's cool to see that kind of stuff you know being more accepted now all right so yeah it, it definitely is All right, so you know what? I'm not gonna fight SpongeBob because I hate that level. Yeah, no, nah, it's it's it was like that for so long. Yeah, there were so many different kind of people. You know, there's, there's so many different kind of kind of people out in the world. I was gonna say if I if I if, if I took him down right then. Nigel <laughs> Thornberry. I'm 
I'm assuming there's gonna be more characters from the Wild Thornberries on here too. Oh, there's so many. I can't remember if the stuff is like on, on Cartoon Network or Nickelodeon now, but there's so many characters I'd, I'd love to see in this game. Courage the Cowardly Dog is one of them. I can't remember if he was ever on Nickelodeon. I think it might have been. The music in this game makes me want to make more, uh, like, Vaporwave and Synthwave music. Get off of this! Courage was a, was a really cool show. And yeah, I would love to... to I, I think it was on Nickelodeon at some point. I can't remember. But it would be cool to see Courage and, like, Maybe some of the other characters from Courage. Oh, like April O'Neil in the old school, in the old, old school Ninja Turtles. Like in the old school outfit. Oh yes, yeah, this, this is this is the music I like. Honestly, you know, one of the episodes of of Courage that I really sticks out to me is the one with the hunchback. It actually it actually made me cry. Damn it, April, you weren't able to fight this good in the damn show. No! No! As soon as my, uh, as soon as I, as soon as April starts bouncing around everywhere and I can defeat her, I'm gonna, I'll tell you, uh, the thing about the, uh, about the hunchback, why, uh, it actually made me cry. Come on, April, stay down. There we go. There we go. There we go. Solid. I need a sponsorship. Try and get that. Try and get a G Fuel sponsorship. I'm looking to get into get into. Uh, I would get some G get the G Fuel sponsorship. What am I having right now? Okay, so I have cut down on monster energy drinks. I drink one a day, and I drink some water. And today I have Clutch High Strength Caffeine Blend. It's L-theanine caffeine plus deaxithin. Deaxithin. Clutch. Dialed focus. A caffeine supplement so that I don't go into caffeine withdrawal. Clutch high strength caffeine blend. Okay, so there is an episode of Courage the Cowardly Dog with a hunchback. I don't remember much about the episode, past what the hunchback says at the end of the episode that made me cry. The Hunchback says...
something along the lines of, Thank you for being so kind to me. I hope where I go next, I'll find somebody as kind as you. And it made me cry. Oh, like Courage was not, he was nice to the Hunchback. I guess everybody always hated the Hunchback. Thank you for being so kind to me. No, it was, I, I'm, I'm tearing up right now. I was like, damn. I'm like, yo, I feel you, Hunchback. I feel you. It caught, it caught me right in the filios. Yeah, Clutch. That's what Clutch got me. Clutch, clutch got me moving tonight. Give me that Clutch. Clutch high strength caffeine blend. Dialed focus. Yeah, it caught me right in the, caught me right in those, in the, in the filios. It was so sad. I was like, damn. I was like, Yo, courage was nice to the hunchback. And the hunchback was so happy. <laughs> hold on, hold on. This hour brought to you by Clutch High Strength Caffeine Blend. Dialed focus. Tonight's Nickelodeon Brawl, <laughs> Nickelodeon Brawl Stars, Nickelodeon All Star Brawl is brought to you by Clutch. Dialed Focus and Caffeina. Caffeine infused spring water. 100 milligrams of caffeine. Infused with caffeine and electrolytes. 7 plus enhanced pH balance. Refreshing spring water. That's Caffeina. Find it on Amazon. Alright, so I'm going to go to the next, the next difficulty then. And I kind of whipped a little, a little bit of ass with uh, Oblina. I hope they put Ickis in here. Ickis and Crumb. And the Gromble. The Gromble, the headmaster of the Monster Academy. Uh, okay, so I did really good with Oblina. So maybe I could... <laughs> maybe um. Yeah, I had to dial back some of the, some of those chemicals in the in the monster a little bit. I'm getting a little up there in age now. I can't I can't be ingesting all them damn chemicals. Yeah, I think it's like uh uh the caffeine caffeina caffeine caffeina. Caffeine. Ah, oh, it has a hundred milligrams of caffeine in one bottle, and it's like a, it's like basically like a, like coffee, like a, the amount that you would have in like a coffee, I guess. But it's water, so I don't know if it's better or worse. And the other thing has, let's see, let me see how much it has. Yeah, the other one is the other one got. 200 milligrams uh celsius uh yes i am familiar i have not tried it i have seen it at the i have seen it at my my local grocer and uh i have not tried it have you tried it how is it is that any good Really? It, it reminded me of like this, this thing that they used to sell at GNC. It was like some weird like energy, energy drink they, they used to have at GNC like, I don't know what, how many years ago, 15 years ago, 12 years ago. I don't even know. I don't even. <laughs> Time makes no sense to me anymore. But uh, that's kind of the vibe I got from Celsius. I, I looked at it and it looked like that, the packaging that old 
nasty thing from GNC, so I didn't know if it was any good, so I never really, I never tried it. So Toph is a, a poo bender? No. Ah, no problem. No problem at all. Oh, really? So is it? I'm guessing that uh, if it doesn't, if it doesn't, you know, if if it doesn't uh, have like an adverse effect on you, I'm guessing it's. It's couldn't it couldn't be that bad. But if you're saying it's good, I, you know I'm gonna give it a try. I, I was just put off by the uh, the packaging because it looked like this this thing that like that I had from uh, like I said from GNC that years ago and it was horrible. Okay, that's stuff that I that I drink. That stuff that I drink. That stuff is. Brutal, and the the plant that it's made out of actually, yeah, that's uh, I forget what the plant is called, but like, it's uh, they drink it in South America, like a tea, but uh, your uh, yerba mate, that plant is actually toxic, but like when you distill it a certain way. It becomes like you could actually you could actually drink it, but like uh, yeah, it's actually it's actually kind of like a it's the plant itself is toxic, and when they make the tea out of it, which is what it was originally, it uh it like burns off like whatever like the toxins are, but I always look like the aftertaste of that because I I still do drink. Uh, wait, maybe it is the one I drank. I got it from 7-Eleven. Um, there are some that have more yerba mate in it than others, and they have an aftertaste almost like, it's almost like the aftertaste of like a cigarette. And it's really weird. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, I think in large quantities, it like, uh, I forgot what it, it's like, it's a carcinogenic and it's some, it's, you know, it's like, like a mild poison. But the way they, the way they make it, the, the way they like process it, it, you know, it, it eliminates a lot of that, but it definitely has some weird, like, chemical properties to it. Even though it's like a natural thing, like I could see it, you know, that it not agreeing with some people. I really do like it, though. <laughs> I, I do drink that. I had I couldn't remember the name of it. I, I drink the one that comes in orange. It's a uh, orange pan, I think. I don't think it would be instant. I think that it's just it's just something toxic that over like a prolonged like period of time it like it causes like it causes a lot of damage. I don't think it's like it's not like arsenic where you like I like 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 a milligram of it'll like kill you. But uh yeah, if you have any kind of like you know like you said like you have intestinal issues, if you have something like that, any kind of health issues, it, it I I could see that, you know, causing a problem with it. Oblina's really good. Wow. I know I just got uh, I just got uh, knocked off the ledge here. 
Or did I? I don't even remember. I wasn't looking at the screen. No, 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 no. Yeah, this movie's ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, 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 what was that? <laughs> I like the intensity of this music. Oh, let's see if I can do it again. Hold on. Oh! Oh! He reversed it on me! Yeah! <laughs> hey, let me turn it up. I was too busy mashing, mashing buttons and I didn't know what I was doing here. How's that? Sound better? Okay, cool, cool. All right. Oh, I need to get one of those, like, uh, what is it, those, those stream decks that you can, like, it has all the little buttons, like, right in front of you. Or I could use one of my many, my many small monitors with touch, with, uh, touch controls and just kind of make one. Oh, I forgot who I was. I forgot who I was. Oh, my. Get, get off here. <laughs> yeah, that, that, this move is ridiculous. Look at this. It's ridiculous. Oh! Yeah, they, oh, they're, they're so cool. It's such a cool thing. I think, I don't, I don't know how much they are, though. I actually, like, I see them, I see people using that, I'm like, I could see the benefit of using this, but I am not enough of a streamer to feel like I should spend the money on one. Like as a as a casual as a casual VTuber, I don't feel like I should be spending the money on on a stream deck. Don't get back on the bus! No, Oblina, get back on the bus! Major damage! On the no! Get on the car! <laughs> oh! Alright, I'm having a problem. There we go, there we go. Look at that. Look at that! Ew! Oh. Bunch Bob, you're gonna pay for that. You shall pay dearly. Now your life is to be forfeit. Blah. Those stream decks, I don't think they're... I, I could see it really being a... Like, I, I watched a few videos of people using them. And I'm like, I, yeah, I could definitely see why someone would want this. Um, but I don't know. I don't know how much they cost. I actually never even... Never even looked to see uh, how, much, how much they are.
Come on, SpongeBob. This is ridiculous. Oh, oh the, oh the horror. Oh the horror. Oh no. Woo. Nothing but, nothing but carnage. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, okay, okay. You, you talking shit, and you got your ass hit. Outstanding performance. Oh, I didn't realize I get this. There we go, I can just grab him and throw him off the, throw him off the back of the, the bus. Come on. Trying to be nice, but you know what? Until next time. Uh, I'm gonna go. F oh, this level. I like this. I oh, I like this. I like the song on this level. It's A A N G A N G. Get out of that damn quicksand. Oblina handles very much like SpongeBob. has been sent to the nether dark. Same place where that, that live action uh live action movie should have should have been sent. Perfect. Yeah, absolutely. I'm getting brave and going and jumping on that pony. I gotta stay on the seesaw. Oh yeah, oh it definitely is. Oh, what a hit. That was that was something that was a, a game that I did not mind paying full price for. I wish I could say the same for Fallout 76. So this is a Ren and Stimpy level. Oblina versus Ren and Stimpy. 
Yeah, Fallout 76, I wanted to, oh, I was very, very upset about that. Let's see, this is a, a Ren and Stimpy inspired level. Ready? And the only Three, problem I have with this, two, this level one. is that it's just hard to tell where, you, where to stand and where not. I just killed, I just died. Like I just, I just killed myself. I just drowned in, in milk. There we go. I like all the hair that's on the, uh, whatever that is, the chicken, the turkey, like hair on it. Yeah, this show was gross. Like it was, uh, it was just like from like the art style to like the, the content of the show. Like they did a lot of like, like close up, like hyper realistic, uh, like animation frames. Well, like you could see all the, all like veins and like boogers and things hanging out of people's noses, and like it was, it was just a weird show. <laughs> and the hair on the turkey. Whoa! I mean, if you like, you know. People might like hair on their turkey. Whenever I ate fried chicken from like a place and it was like something that resembled hair like in it, I would just, I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna pretend that's part of the, part of the, uh, the creature that was deep fried. And just keep eating it. Whatever. <laughs> sometimes you don't want to throw out a whole thing of fried chicken. Sometimes you get you dig in. That's sick, like. <laughs> I just forgot who I was for a second. Sometimes you just dig in and you see something out of the corner of your eye and you're like, was that? Nah. And you know what? The whole frying process. And uh, you know what? The whole frying process probably uh, like took care of whatever that was. Maybe I'm just imagining it. Maybe it was part of the, maybe it was a, uh, Part of a feather that uh, was still stuck in there. You don't, you don't know. No, no. If it did, that, that that's 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 not cool because that means it's still fresh. Like if it's deep fried or like, yeah, that's 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 too much. We, we can't do that. Like if I put, if I put, if I put too much focus on it, I feel like I'd still be choking on that piece of hair. Like, like, like 10 years later. And I still feel like it's stuck in my throat. Zim, I love you, baby, but you gotta go. Oh man, I can't, oh, I can't do the impression. Oh, you know what character I would like, love to see in this? <laughs> I would love to see in this game. Anybody from Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. That's gotta hurt. 
Was that on Nickelodeon? It might have been. I can't remember all these, all these damn shows and all this, this whole timeline kind of blurs together. This is Ninja Turtles level, I think. Yeah, it is. Oh yeah, that's one of the foot players in the background. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. No! Come back, baby, come back. You can blame it all on me. There was something, everything about you. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Stay off this damn building. Damn it, Zim. No! No! no. <laughs> oh! Oh, there we go, the music. Yeah, yeah. Ha, ha. Huh. I can just start, uh... I just, just stop, start, start spitting them bars. Yeah, the music is good for this game. Huh. Oh, I'm trying to catch, I'm trying to catch the beat. No, I'm not. I'm not gonna do it here. Yeah, I used. I used to be able to. Uh, I used to been been known back in the day to spit a to spit a to spit a hot sixteen. I actually wrote a song the other day. I was. I put on. Uh, I had an instrumental. I put on, and like halfway through it, I realized that I was actually express expressing my. My emotions. Yeah, I used to be able to spit a hot 16 back in the day. There's a lot of, I, I made a lot of music and that music is still floating around. I won't ever link myself to it, but I might showcase it every, once in a while. Oblina versus Reptar. I'm ready to send Reptar straight to Dinosaur Hell. I like how fast these characters react, like how fast, like, the, 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 the movements are, like, all the movement is, like, really reactive, unlike Smash, it, like, feels like you're, you know, fighting in a, like, a, feels like you're, like, fighting in, like, a fishbowl filled with, 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 uh, jello. No! You ain't gonna get me. You ain't gonna get me. You ain't gonna get me. Can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. Can't catch me, my name is Gingy. Oh. 
sorry I had to make Tommy Pickles cry. Sending his favorite character to dinosaur hell. The fact that you could spam this, this, uh, rolling thing is pretty wild. You can do it in the air, too. Like, just line up the shot. And like, look at this. I just did it like a zigzag doing that. I didn't hit anything. Yeah, it, it, it yeah, it is. Yeah, this is... Wait! I was supposed to make Tommy Pickles cry! I was supposed to make all the babies cry! Sending their favorite dinosaur! There we go. Did I win? Oh no, I still gotta fight Cora. Paulina versus... She's gonna use her water breathing technique on me. Yeah, Tommy's crying right now. All the babies are crying. And then he's crying because Reptar got sent to hell and then Angelica's gonna, gonna beat his ass for crying. At least in, at least in my, my, uh, my head cannon, that's, that's what's going on. Instead of just mashing the special button and every so often pressing random other buttons, I should probably learn how to use this character. Pretty quick. When SpongeBob does that, like flying attack, like he gets hit easily. It doesn't do any damage with it. Oh. All those stupid babies are crying. No! 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 Rugrats were there? I forgot. And there's Phil and Lil, Tommy, Chucky, uh, it was Angelica, Susie, and somebody else? Ah, I think there's another one. Come on! Come on! All right, Cora. Don't need to show off, Cora. You don't need to show off at all. Don't have to. Down and he got knocked down in the third round, Rock. Something is over. Give me something. Else.
Ready? Three, two, one, go! Where am I? We're in my home turf now, Garbage Island. Messing around this time. Come on, stay up there. dare you. Mama, you got this. You got this, mamita. Oh. That's right. That's right. Oh, yeah! No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. That was almost... Almost. That was almost greatness. And that's that. Winner. Oh yeah. Two tries on medium, and I'm only half paying attention. Yeah, yeah. Where's my sponsorship? Come on, I'm going to the tournament. I'm going to the tournament. I tried playing this online, and I got my ass whooped. Mercilessly. All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, give yourself a round of applause. Everybody, you've been a lovely audience out there tonight. But wait, we're not done yet. I still have more of this. Clutch caffeine blend. Dialed focus. Heightened energy. Clutch. Available now on Amazon. Alright, give me one second. I gotta get up and stretch. No, no. No, no, not tonight. I have I have work in the morning, not another. Now I'm gonna try to beat this on the next difficulty. And then I might, I might uh, call it a, call it a night. What time is it? 9:35? <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I'm not doing that. That eight-hour thing again. That reminded me of when I used to do like, uh, I used to do live shows at like, <laughs> at like 1:30 at night, like on a weeknight. I'd be out on stage at like two, and I'd get home at like five, and I'd be like half dead for like a, like a week. That's uh. Yeah, I just, I actually just recovered from that stream. Uh, hold on a moment. Let me grab something to drink.
Can't take it anymore. A rest. I feel like I'm yelling a lot. Am I yelling a lot? Am I like blowing out the microphone? Alright, cool. I'm very excited about these uh these Nickelodeon characters beating the crap out of each other. It fills me with a great it fills me with a great sense of joy. All right. What comes after medium? What comes after medium? That's right. Artie. Artie. Yep, that's right. And what comes after that? Well, we're not, I'm probably not going to get to that tonight. Artie. Yep. That's right. Or Harud. Ha. Ha, R-D. It's hard. It's too hard. It's muy, muy difícil. All right, so we're going to do this on hard. I'm going to play as Oblina again because she was pretty, she was pretty damn, she was pretty damn beast, beast mode. Anyhow, April, I don't know if she actually hits you with a microphone, but she's a news a news reporter. Oh, she does have the microphone, but I don't... I didn't actually pay attention to, like, any of her animation, and I was like, wait, it's odd that she doesn't hit you with the with the microphone, but she pulls out a, a big-ass camera, and the camera shoots you. This is April O'Neil, Channel 6 News. Ha erd. Ha erd. It's ha erd. Focus. 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 Focus, Mr. Motar. Focus. Playing on hot herb. Oh, those percentages, percentages are looking pretty, uh, no. Those percentages are looking pretty good. And stay out. Okay, okay. That was an eye for an eye. I got you. I was just, I was just joking. I was just joking. Come on, come on. That's right, that's right. You didn't, April didn't want, she didn't want no smoke. Hmm. 
Wait a minute. I went up. But how'd I go down? I thought she was gonna say I thought she was gonna start dancing. Her movement went right with the beat. <laughs> okay, so So this is slightly more difficult. In the old Ninja Turtle cartoon, I always wondered why the hell she dressed like that. She wearing like a jump, like a skin tight like jumpsuit with, with like galoshes. She got like rain boots on. Like, why the hell she dressed like that? I don't remember people dressing like that ever. Like I don't think that outfit was ever a thing. Mashing buttons, I'm mashing buttons. No need to mash buttons. Know what you're doing. Have this under control. You are the master of your own destiny. You're a nice little pig. You're a nice little pig. Oink, oink. You're a nice little pig. You are the wizard of time and space. You are the master of, of this reality. You are a nice little pig. Oink oink, you are a nice little pig. Oh, I just I just looked at my hearts on the bottom. I'm doing pretty good here. Why won't you die? Die, die, die! I have not. I've watched a lot of gameplay of it, but I have not. I have not actually played it. Oh, did they use those? Ooh. Ooh. That's kind of frowned upon. Oh, Lena versus Nigel Thornberry. In NFTs, man. Get for the, ready. For the bullshit Three, aspect of, the, two, of this, uh. One. This, of this timeline. Oh, you thought I was just a one trick pony? Nah, nah, I got, I got, I got all kinds of things in my toolkit. Nigel Thornberry. Look at that. Look at that. Look at the spank. The spank on your booty. Uh, this is my this is my favorite one. Uh, I think it, it has something to do with the spooky the spooky vibes and the, the color scheme. Nigel, honey, you're not gonna win. Perfect. 
it's like Luigi's, it's like, <laughs> like Luigi's Mansion. I only ever played that in the arcade. I actually never played it on uh, any other system. It's kind of like the Luigi's, Luigi's Mansion, even though that's from the other, the other fighting game. Oh, Alright, Lincoln on. Loud ass. Versus Lincoln Loud. Get ready. Now does Lincoln Loud, does he have like... Like powers of some kind? Is he like a. Uh, he got like magical powers or something? Because I think in this game. He does have some kind of abilities. No? Or maybe it's just for this game. So, like. What? He's just like a regular person? Fighting on these stupid dishes. Outstanding performance. Get all these dishes. Getting out of the milk. I'm not fighting in the dishes. I'm getting on the cheese. I thought I was a, just a pretty face. I got hands too. I got hands too, baby. Oh, oh damn, he could actually stop that. I've had enough. I've had about enough of your bullshit. Fight your ass. Alright, so he, he he's uh putting up a little bit of a fight here. Thank you, Toast. Oh, I know what move I should have done. Oh, stop it. Oh, I died in the milk. Is he, is he, as, yeah, it is close. Is he this much of an, is it, is he this much of a pain in the ass in the show? There we go. Getting that damn frying pan. Okay. Come on. No, get out of the milk. Get out of the milk. Damn, damn it, damn it. Oh. Yeah, it was close. Yeah, he definitely. I, I had problems with him on. on 
on another run I did. This was last night. Oh, Lena. He was like the, the last, uh, the last level, and I had such a hard time. Oh, not this damn level again! Oh, I hate it. I hate it. Yeah, that little quote right there is basically Obelina's energy right there. That that that's her. Here's a really cool voice too. I hope like, they add like a you know, like voice like voice tracks to this. Play nice. Three, two, All right. one. Fight. <laughs> Come on. That seems to be pretty effective in dealing with it. Come on. Oh, I missed. Okay, okay, no, I got him, I got him, I got him. Come on. That's gotta hurt. Come on. Don't let my dogs bite you. Die at some point? His damage is already 267%. Oh, what a hit. There we go. Alright, let's try it. Let's try this again. Okay, I gotta get you in that. Doing that damn milk again. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on. Oh. oh no. Oh no. I made a mistake. Come on. Oh, I, now I realize my medium attack is pretty damn effective on him. No!
I wish I could choose a different level. Get ready. Three, yeah, no, I'm, two, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. Maybe not right this second, but yeah. Stay away from that damn milk. Stay away from them. None of those just connect. All right, whatever. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Okay. I, I'm, I'm hoping I can do it. I'm really starting to get tired of his, uh, his, his shenanigans here. Come on. Come on. Oh. Okay. Okay. It's still anybody's game. Come on! Did I get him? Did I get him? Yeah! That's right. That's right. Third time's a charm. We got it. Lincoln Loud. Did it. Did it. You ain't doing nothing. You ain't touch. You ain't touching none of this. Get dog, cat dog. Alone in the world is a little cat dog. All right, cat dog. Paulina versus cat dog. Cat dog, cat dog. Be the flying Dutchman that be. Listen. Be wearing that ghostly sock upon my ghostly tail. Get ready. Three, two, okay. one, go!
Alright. Looks like we're back in business. It's fine. I got it back. I got it back. Can't keep a good monster down. One thing I found, as an extremely introverted person myself, something that I realized had been lacking my entire life, is that all of the friends that I ever made were all very, like, extroverted. And it was draining and annoying, and I pushed them all away. But... I found one, one person in my multiple decades of life who is an introverted weirdo like myself. And it is fantastic. I don't have to go hang out. I don't have to commit to any kind of event. It is beautiful. It is a beautiful, mutualistic friendship. We don't converse on the phone. We converse strictly through text. I don't have to worry about him showing up at my house. he be like, yo, you wanna go? You wanna go here? You wanna go here? You wanna go do this? I don't have to worry about any of that. He doesn't invite me to things, I don't invite him to things. Yes, I've been told, do not push this friend away by people that know me. some fun facts about Michelangelo too. Oh, I'm stage five already? There's only seven levels. Oh, oh yeah, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. We got this. Hey dudes, Cowbunga says it all. A, an introverted friend. That's what, I, that's what I needed. A very nice, very nice person. He's probably one of the, one of the, Well, that's good. That's really good. It took it took me a long time to to, to uh, 
about to open up to people. And uh, now I just I wear my, my heart on my sleeve. And just so everybody knows like where I'm coming from. And I really don't. Yeah, I don't really, now, now I realize like I'm like, yeah, whatever. I'm like, this is this is how I am. This is how I feel. This is, you know, whatever. And, you know, I'm not looking to make friends. I'm not looking to impress people. I'm not. I, I just I really don't care anymore. I, I'm, it, but it took a long time to get to that. Yeah, open, open, open it up. It, it's not easy. I don't. I don't trust people, in general. And when I say that, it's it's weird because I'm so open at this point in my life with people, and they're like, "Oh, you trust?" You know, like they're like, "Oh, you're like you don't trust people, but you you're open up." I'm like, the only reason I open up now to people is just so people know where I'm coming from there's no guessing they're like oh why do you look like that today why are you acting like that today why are you balling your fists up and you know growling and kicking things over and you know why are you bouncing off the walls and like like I just let people know where I'm coming from like straight from the jump but it took a long time to get to that and I still don't trust people and I still don't like being close to people but uh yeah opening up is really is it, it, Three, not an, it's not an easy thing to do Three, two, trusting people one, is is difficult um and and pushing people people away is really not it's it's really it, it really does it, it really does hurt hurt you know you in the long run you miss out on a lot by uh by pushing people away and it took me a long time to realize that and now i just put out like who i am and like if you want to just you know you want to rock with that and we can rock with that you know let's let's go you know like I actually like both of these levels, so, uh, yeah. Oh, Lena versus SpongeBob. Get ready. Three, two, one. Fight! Concentrate a little bit. Oh, SpongeBob's one slippery devil. I can almost do a SpongeBob impression. I have to work out it a little bit more, but I can get my voice to accurately hit SpongeBob pitch. And even if nobody hears it except for my coworkers and anybody that's you know sees a video like a, a stream, I did. I'll be very happy 
if I can nail that SpongeBob voice. But I won't do it until I'm certain that I could I could nail at least like 90% of it. I don't know why I'm not using my heavy attacks. I'm all SpongeBob. It's so close! Oh, you... You little... Okay, we got this. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Maybe I should try not... doing the same move over and over again? In that case, you know. Link in Smash Brothers. Come on, get off the damn map! Get off the damn map! Come on, you resilient little shit. Come on. Just die. Die, you. Oh. Come on. Is that it? No. Is that it? There we go. Finally. Is this it? Is this the last level? I think I made it to the last, uh, the last level here. Now, which one of you is the real Dirty Dan? Which one of you is the real Dirty Dan? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, actually, I guess you are the, you are the real Dirty Dan. <laughs> Somebody made a mention of, of Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy today at work. We got these new high voltage gloves. That's what it was. We got these new gloves to deal with like high voltage electricity because we were disassembling a Toyota Prius. Um, I guess I am. I guess I, guess I have been hilarious. <laughs> episode. What a good show. Our new high, hope, high voltage gloves looks like uh, the gloves that Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy wear. Oh, Alright, let's do this. Pinhead Larry. Big Benny and some magic, even though your life is tragic. Throw all your dreams down the well. Oh, every day the pain grows. Five unicorn. The one with where Sandy was hibernating. 
and they woke her up during her hibernation. He was like, kind of like sleepwalking. Is that Get that's what it was, right? Three, two, one. Fight. Oh! She's she's, a, she's the strongest critter in Bikini Bottom. I love the, the pacing in this game. Nope. I like how when she's when she was in her like little dome where she lives, like SpongeBob and Patrick had to wear the, the helmets with the water in it. We got this. We got this. Come on. Damn, she... Them hands, though. Can't take that much more damage. Oh! No! No! What did I just say? It was just, we were disassembling a Prius at, at work, and uh, gloves that we got actually they look like Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boys gloves. We put them on today, and we were slapping each other with them. It was a lot of fun. With that thing, I can. I can. Try to, can I counter it? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, no. Bandy. Send you into permanent hibernation. So See, that lasso gonna be the death of Gonna be the damn death of Come on. Come on. Come on. That might have been that might have been the move I needed. the damn world get off the damn world no no <laughs> oh 
Oh! Defeat. It was so close. Ah! 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 Oh, so close it was. I can't, I can't let it, I can't let it, I can't let it go like that. I can't let it go like that. Paulina versus Sandy. I can't let that sit. No, oh, no. You know what? I do got this. Sit, 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 sand in the goddamn Lena permanent hibernation. Three, two. One. Stay with me. Wait, 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 wait. That doesn't do anything? That... Get the hell away from her! Major damage! Mommy, mommy, Sandy kicking my ass. I'm um, Sandy's kicking. Get in my H. Stewart! Get away from that damn lasso! He's like Scorpion. Mortal Kombat. Get over here! <laughs> That's another thing. I was pl playing Mortal Kombat 2 all day at work. We finally delivered that, uh, that arcade game I, I built. Um, before it went out, we had to test it. Got like 20 credits on it. We're playing uh, Mortal Kombat all day. Okay, okay, come on, come on. No! No! I will not accept that fate. I will not accept this. You will die. Okay, okay. Health is low. Morale is high. Oh yeah, there we go. It's raining all over again. Whoa. All right, but she's at 100% damage, so. You good, you good wax. In this game, finito. Link. Thank you, Smash Brothers. <laughs> Lena's long range attack is like inconsistent, it has like inconsistent range, but I can't set her up for anything.
That's it. Winner. That is it. It's all over, folks. It's all over. Oblina on the fourth try. Difficulty hard. Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl. Let's go. Feel bad though, Sandy. Looks, she looks so sad now. Playing her sad, her sad ukulele. All right, Sandy cheeks. It's time for you to go hit the old dusty trail. Yeah, that was rough. Yeah, look how sad she looks. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, lady. Aim me to make you sad. Playing sad music. And just a point about my about my job. My job is like, I got to put a bunch of my hobbies together and like get paid like, ugh, I don't know, get paid okay, I guess. Like if I worked for myself and I built the things that I do and I do the stuff that I do, I would, I would probably make a lot more money. But. that's like a huge a huge commitment so I, I you know I, I get to do all kind of crazy stuff at work I, I build things I build things I figure out how to fix stuff you know I have to you know I get to invent things I get to tinker with stuff and for the most part it's a vending machine company but there's so much other stuff that goes into it we just got a new welding torch which was it's been a lot of fun I do a lot of like restoration on like arcade games, and I do a lot of the like uh, I do, do the repairs on the old arcade boards, which I have a huge collection of in my house. And uh, yeah, it's, it's I'm doing something that I enjoy doing, which is really cool. I wish I could make more money doing it, but I'll take enjoying my job over absolutely hating my job. I can, I, at my last job, I've had, I had like bodily fluids like sprayed all over me. I had somebody die on me. I had, you know, like my, my last job was absolutely horrible. I got yelled at all day long, every day. So this job, I'm, I'm glad I told my the administrator at my old job to, uh, yeah, I, I just, I, I had enough of it. I, I worked at that other place for like 10 years, and then um, it was just crazy. And I just said, you know what, I said, I got, the, the administrator yelled at me one too many times, and uh, I was like, you know, enough of this. And then uh, three months later, the uh, job I have now called me. And I didn't even know it was possible to get a job like this. Like when I was a kid, I was like, oh, that looks kind of cool. Watching people like repair like arcade games, like at the arcade. And I was like, oh, that'd be kind of cool to have that job. And then these people called me out of nowhere and then boom, boom, I had the job. Oh. Yeah, I'm glad, I'm glad. Because the other job I had was killing. It was absolutely killing me. Well. Yeah, I just had to like throw everything up in the... Throw my hands up in the air. Sit, flip my middle fingers up. Say, you know, buckle up to, to, to everybody. And uh, throw caution to the wind and... 
you know, I just have to bite the, bite the bullet and just say, you know what, enough of this. And then you know, things worked out. It, it basically, I, I, I did something very reckless and just said, you know what, you know what, you know what, you take this job, shove it in your ass. Yeah, I got a bad job now, which is a lot of fun. You see, I post on Twitter like the, some of the arcade stuff that I build, and uh, I kind of use it like a just like as a quick like portfolio of like of the uh, the projects that I work on in case I ever need them for another job. They're right there. I can just flip right through my you know all my things that I, I posted to Twitter. Because people like to do, people like custom, like, uh, custom arcade games and cabinets. And I do a lot of, like, I, I refurbish a lot and I build, I completely rebuild and fabricate stuff. It's 10.33. You know what? I gotta go to work tomorrow. I can't believe I got through this. I'm glad I did. I'm glad you stayed rocking with me. Once again, this stream is brought to you by Clutch High Strength Caffeine Blend, Valve Focus, and Heightened Energy. Caffeina, caffeine infused spring water, 100 milligrams of caffeine, 7 plus enhanced pH balance, refreshing spring water. And most importantly, this stream and this victory is dedicated to people like you. Appreciate you rocking with me. My name is Main Motar, your friendly neighborhood space dwarf, the main spaceman with a plan, and now Nickelodeon All-Star Bro Champion, a champion! Thank you. Well, it's time again to hit that old dusty trail. So until next time, I bid you adieu. Buenos noches. Good night. And thank you.